This episode of Dungeons and Dorkheads is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Head down to the link below to get some fantastic deals on video games and shop with confidence knowing that every game on this site comes directly from publishers and you get a fantastic deal in the process. Not only that, this video is also brought to you by XSplit. Head down to the other link down there and get in on the fantastic family of products that XSplit has to offer, including XSplit Broadcaster, which is a fantastic program for live streaming, video recording, and even making this video that you're watching right now. Head down to the link below. And let's not forget, this show wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for the great people making Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Head down to the link below. Foundry Virtual Tabletop is perfect for all of your virtual tabletop needs. It's very easy to set up, very easy to mod, very easy to get all of your game systems working, including D&D 1st Edition, D&D 5th Edition, Pathfinder, Fallout Pen and Paper, even Bunkers and Badasses. Head down to the link below and try out Foundry Virtual Tabletop absolutely free. And last but certainly not least, we need to give a big shout out to the folks at ForgottenAdventures.net for their dedication to the craft of map making assets, virtual tokens, battle maps, clip studio brushes, and builder packs. All available on ForgottenAdventures.net. Link down below in the description. Dorks, dorkheads, and everyone in between, and welcome to tonight's episode of Dungeons and Dorkheads. We're back. Oh my god, it's been an exhausting couple of weeks. What was that? That was the uh, that was the intro. Honestly, the music is doing most of the work right now. Mm -hmm. The music we all can hear. Yep, the music we all can hear. The music I'm turning down because it's kind of loud. Fun Gotta week, huh? <laughs> uh, I mean, it depends on your definition of week. Submersibles, Russian civil wars, I think something Promise else birthday. happened. <laughs> Say it. Purple McDonald's birthday the drink. The purple McDonald's birthday drink. The purple flareful drink. The purple I can't believe we killed anybody. I can't believe we killed everybody. I mean, I turned out just fuck. Yay, I love there. corporations. There's a smoke screen in front of my house. <laughs> oh yeah, everything's smoky. Everything Drop is smoke. Part. Smokey the Bears. How, how, how's it looking over Smokey where you the guys bears. are, That's Steve? Absolutely mad right now. Uh, it looks like I can't see out my window because I can't see out my window due to the angle. <laughs> okay, but how's the smoke where you are? Uh, a lot of people have been having respiratory issues and... God, I wonder um, why they're having those. You think there's some kind of pandemic that fucks with your lungs or something? Oh, you're all yeah. the way down I south! I mean, it's, it's, it's the smog. I My throat is in a constant state of burning and stinging and pain right now. So hey, I had Ken, to do a bunch of yard cool. work in the dead of the smog, that. and oh, it was God. horrible. Like, and I haven't had extreme smog, so... Yeah, it's it's super... Hang on, let me actually... Over here. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk across my room right now and actually look out the window. Is it, it looks like, like, it looks like Silent Hill out here. It's the, it's <laughs> ghost moggy. It, no, I can't see. It, it looks like fucking, you know, the trees that are thirty feet away from my window. Like it, it's, I can't. I don't have good vision sight from my uh, amazing. All you those windows do is give you light. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like the Slender Man movie out there. It's great. Slender. I love it looking constantly like. Uh, Are you sure it doesn't Island look Hill, like that? But it really fucking hurts. My fucking lungs are killing me. Right. I like right. that everything looks like you're right. in the rapture. It's all because of dickhead neighbors. Let's all agree to stay indoors. I wish I could have. Gosh, we gotta stay home. 
Impossible. Forever. No way anyone's used to that, right? Definitely not me. It's in a stuck at home. Uh. Crazy week. Crazy, crazy week. I have a job interview. So, so proud of you, I won't give specific details, but wish me luck. Yay. And uh, with that failed attempt to bring the mood up a little bit, over to Steve. <laughs> hey, everyone. Long time no talk, except for the fact that this is, re is released on a weekly basis. So it, it's literally just been since last session for you. Uh, yes. Thank you, everyone, for uh, once again returning uh, my wonderful players and the, like, three people who watch this. Uh, oh, come on. It's... Looking at you, number two, you're the best. Yeah. Yeah, viewer it's, number two. It's not that bad. It's getting better. <laughs> Is it really? I, like, Slowly. What, what average... Slowly. What, what are the view counts at? It's still you acknowledged it's going to go down now. Still in the low double digits, but we're getting no? there. I mean, like, it's in double digits, I'm, so... At, but at, regardless, I'm not giving up on this show. It's too fun to make. I mean, it's literally so just us playing Dungeons & Dragons, and I... Honestly, every time at the end of session, when you're all just like, Wow, that was an amazing session. You're a great game master. I'm just like, aw. No, you are a great game master. <laughs> <laughs> I... I'm very grateful that you all think so. No, you're I... breathtaking! <laughs> uh, that's, that's a dated meme at this point. It's anyway. a meme, but it checks oh. out. Oh. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Keanu Reeves, I, I watched uh, John Wick 4, and I gotta say, uh, it definitely gave me inspiration for this next session, which is just gonna be mostly <laughs> roleplay. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, I can't believe one of our party members is gonna die. Yes. All because we killed that one character's dog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shouldn't have killed the dog. Oh yeah, speaking of killing, you know what's a thought I had that yeah. I've been having ever since last session? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Now that we've aligned ourselves with a uh, fucking Lord of Cinder guy, not? the Dragoon is probably our I am not. I mean, saying, we're not can aligned we with prove we all? haven't, though? To the people that would matter to. Anyway. Such as those who don't like the Lord of Cinder. I mean, anyway, it's know. time for the recap. Vriska? Yeah? Take us away. Alright, cool. So last session, it was mostly just us kind of fucking around until Sandra got a sick-ass dream where she met the Lord of Cinders, and then she told the Lord of Cinders to fuck off, and then she woke up and took Nicholas over to the river, and at the river where Dante was watching, who, I was he getting painted at this point? I think he was getting painted. But, uh, yeah, and then Sandra was just like, hey, Lord of Cinders, yo, I'm calling you up on Dragon Skype. Give me power, please. And then she got set on fire and thrown in the water. And then afterwards, everyone showed up. We had a big old argument. And the mayor got mad because no one was fucking listening to her, even though she had literally a gun pointed at everyone. And then she left and got angry. And there was some really sick drama with with her, with her and Zach. And then she left after Zach revealed that one of her allies is in danger because of something they did. And now Aww. she's off sulking, and the gang are over there feeling really uncomfortable after hearing a lot of shouting. Is that everything? Uh, I could fill in the gaps. It wasn't just Sandra having a sick ass dream. Everybody had a sick ass dream. Nicholas, in particular, a had a dream uh, with. Uh, oh, yeah, with my uncle. Your uncle. And I had yes. to go to Albania. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we uh, we believe that that is what Nicholas You'll have has not been remember forgetting. the thing I need to remember. That's not the Maybe thing you need to uncle. remember? I don't think the uncle is the thing I need to be remembering. Oh, Damn it. okay, so <laughs> Damn it, Nicholas. Nicholas is still forgetting something. Uh, <laughs> Zach had I mean, a clown Steve dream. Steve has not told me this, but I'm forgetting, so... Z Z Z Z Zach had a clown dream, and their clown dream I don't remember too good. Oh. That's they right. learned he about something. magic. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> he ate the magic. Yeah, the they, magic. they they cheated yeah, they, at, they, they cheated at learning Arcana stuff you're because fuck again. you. 
freaking teeny room. If you eat the magic, that's how you get the magic. <laughs> uh, it just works. It just works. The wise words of Todd Howard. Dante have you tried clowning around? Yeah. Dante did not have a dream, but I uh, fought a fish. He almost got fish. shanked by and a I... fish. Yep, stole his knife. <laughs> it's a fish. You can't really wield a knife accurately. So now Dante has a fish it knife. He tried, though. That's the, it's the thought that Fight, now. If you will. <laughs> <laughs> I do not remember what uh, Coco. What was your character's name again? How dare you forget Coco's character's Dare name, knew. but I definitely remember. They're new, it's... <laughs> well, okay. Don't worry, I didn't forget your name because I'm forgetful. It's just because I don't care. Got to respect wow. the dedication of the character. She had a dream where she was dealing with some pretty heavy stuff. It sounded like a god was yelling at her. Something along those lines. Sounded pretty yeah, serious. Yeah, that's about accurate. Sound of pretty serious. Isn't that right, Coco? None of us know the context, though. Except maybe Steve. No context. Well, my name list didn't last very long. It ended at Sandra's parents and friend. <laughs> well, well... The rest of, um... Demare's recap was pretty accurate, though. Um, there was, uh... The enhanced boon from the Lord of Cinders, then Demer got really, really angry and stormed off into the woods. And the rest of us went off to the hunting lodge to help coordinate uh, evacuation efforts. That's where we left off. All right. So. Let's start, since most of the party is going in one direction, uh, let's go ahead and start with the Demer. Alright, cool. You know what I'm gonna do after sitting and sulking for about approximately three minutes exactly? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get to work and build some homemade trebuchets. I mean, you are proficient in woodworking, so... Exactly. Uh, and being an artificer, you, you always have the right tool for the job. So, uh, That's go ahead and... Abilities. Yeah, uh, go ahead and roll trebuchet craft. Which I assume is my woodworking tools, or my woodcarving tools. Uh, correct. Point. Normal. <laughs> yeah, uh, how long are you making trebuchets for? Because, like... Until the dragons show up, TPH, I need something to vent. Okay, so you you spend like I think it's three days if I'm check. I'm gonna check my notes really quick. I have it written down. Uh, also, about after the first day, I get Roxy to help me move forward. Oh yeah, she shows up and is. And of course, she brings my cannon. Uh, duh. So. Uh, yeah, you, I would say, have, like... Alright, I, I don't actually have it written down here. I think we were on day four out of five, right? Like, like we, we have five days total until they show up, and we have fully spent one day. So, uh... You, yeah, you, sp you spend four days. I'll say you make, like... Okay... Would you consider how at what point would you consider too many trebuchets? Because, like, you do have a limited amount of people, you can, I will say, make eight trebuchets, but I'm going to make as many as I can. After a certain point, it stops being about strategy and more bees about I just need something to focus my head on. Okay, great. So, you have your one cannon and eight separate te trebuchets. Cool. Oh, good. You also make a mini trebuchet that's like one foot by one foot cube. One foot so, by one foot cube. <laughs> yeah, you can like, you know, put put. It's really good for like food fight sized stuff. So I'm you can set it on the this. table and flip something over the table at someone else. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, there's another thing I actually want to be doing if I can. Yep. Harvesting well, the scales of the dragons we already got. Uh. Um, so, 
I'm not gonna do anything with them. I just want to get them in my bag. Um. So the the there were dragons in the hold, but those were taken. They were. Damn. Yeah. 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 I too empty head. I forgot. Yeah, that part. I think you forgot You're, about uh, that. I'm pretty sure Demare knew about that Demare one. Demare was not there for that session. No, but it, I'm pretty sure we told her about it. Yeah. Yeah, but I wasn't so. listening. It, yeah, it, that's what happens. I just went into the hold and for like half an hour I was just kind of looking around under every nook and cranny like you hid a giant dragon somewhere. And I'm just like... No, <laughs> we got the dragons confiscated. In a bag of holding! Oh yeah, I still never got... Speaking of which, I never got a fucking answer on if the goddamn bag man was the thing that grabbed my arm that night. Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, that's about everything I'm doing. Alright, cool. So, uh, with that, I guess we can uh, flip on over to... It. So, the, it, correct me if I'm wrong, everyone else is going to the Hunter's Lodge, correct? Yes. Um... I am only. There. I mean, I was under the impression we were heading out actually straight to the thing, but <laughs> if I had the choice, Zach was probably going to stick around with the mare, honestly. So, I like <laughs> not fast forwarding. We're just continuing from where we left off. It, it is so just making sure for on day two for the rest of the day. Most people are going to be heading towards the Hunter's Lodge, correct? I'm only there for an hour. Okay. And... Um... Game's pause. Oh shit. Pause. Pause. Hobbs. So, for, where, where, where are you waiting for me to do Where something? is the Shythor map? Uh, so... Where the I mean, fuck are we? Is the, yeah, the Shythor map is still up at the top. Yes. It's here. So... Alright. So, so, I guess everyone goes to the Hunter's Lodge, and then after about an hour, Sandra it walks out, and where are you heading? Uh, well, I, I flag the group down, and I'm like... Okay, you guys are doing a great job. Can you guys handle here things here for a bit? I gotta go do something. They give you a thumbs up and uh, continue with the lesson that you gave them. I'm gonna go find Demir. All right. Uh, I'll say. Demare, are you trying to keep yourself hidden? I'm not trying to be found. Let's put it that way. I use my skills as a ranger to track Demare. Alright, roll a survival check. With advantage, because I know these woods? Why don't you just get your natural ranger bonus? And woods are my favorite terrain? Just that, I mean. Uh, hang on. I think it's more of like, how does favorite terrain work? <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that I will quick be. Plus, looking. wild child advantage on certain roles? Nondescript certain roles? Thanks, Octi! <laughs> Oh my god. Nondescript certain roles. Nondescript <laughs> certain roles. Uh. That's what he told me to type in. Octi currently being sued for the vague fucking language. I'm gonna sue Octi for punitive damages. Is your favorite terrain a part of the homebrew thing, or...? Favorite terrain is part of regular ranger. There's the... Deft Explorer and Natural Explorer. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay. When you make an intelligence or wisdom check related to your favorite terrain, your proficiency is doubled if you're using a skill you're proficient in. So, for survival, your uh, 
bonus, the proficiency bonus, which I think is plus three for everyone right now. Yeah, uh, plus four. You're at plus four already? Damn, oh, I... So Why are you loading so slow? Uh, yeah, so then... So, yeah, since you are proficient uh, in survival, it would be... If you're rolling with a plus 11 instead of your plus 7. So no home fi hometown advantage then? The DC will be kept in mind. Alright. Uh, just add 4 to that. It's the same roll as the bear, actually. What? Uh, yeah, 28, uh, you are able to, through a combination of tracking the literal footsteps, and, well, I guess, hoof, oh, yeah, I was about to say hoof steps, uh, you are able to, into the woods, and hearing the sound of something being slammed repeatedly than familiar wood cutting and a trebuchet making. Uh, yeah, uh, Demary, you're like in the process of making your first trebuchet currently. I'm about halfway down. I got the base done right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Sandra, are you approaching stealthily? Uh, not tremendously. Okay, then uh, Demir, you you notice a like, I would say, like, a couple hundred feet away, uh, Sandra is approaching you. I ignore her. Is this, like, right. a venting thing for you? I continue to ignore her. Because if you're looking for some place to vent, there's an oak tree that I used to scream at over that way. I kind of glare at her. And then get back to working. Okay, look. I'm trying with you. Can you hear me out? Mary drops her tools very slowly and then approaches Sandra. And then she pulls out her gun and points it directly at her face. Give me one good reason to trust you. One right now. Because I trust you. I know... It may seem like I don't, and I say that you're a pain in the ass sometimes, but I trust you. Trust you enough to show you the coffee shop, and that's not something I show to anybody. Not Amon, not Rena, and especially not Selena. You see Demir's hands tense as she goes to pull the trigger, and then out comes a firebolt and it hits your chest. All right, fine. I'm cool with you. Demir says she goes back to working. I want you to know... I'm gonna get my family back. And I'll get them back, too. But I'm not gonna sacrifice who I am or anyone else to do it. You included. Look, I get your point now, okay? This wasn't an act of maliciousness. It was just stupidity that got you into the situation. I can deal with stupidity. I can't deal with maliciousness. As long as you have my back. Captain always has the back of her crew. I still don't know what's at the end of this road. Now what the heck are you doing out here? It... I'm building trebuchets to get rid of my emotions. It looks like you're building a jungle gym. It's a trebuchet. Remind me what a trebuchet is again. It throws rocks. So does a catapult. Yes, but this does it better. 
out of character. I don't remember my medieval siege engines all that good. It, it's the thing that you put the rock in it and it flings it. That's also a catapult! Yeah, uh, just Google it, trebuchet. trebuchet. It flings it with uh, momentum it instead of spring. It strings attached to it. Yeah, it's the rope. Are what propels it. yeah. It's momentum based. Yeah, not yeah, it's it's, it's, it's rope that's spoon. like really taut. Okay, and then, this is like, the really the fancy one. Okay. You use the bunch of rocks to pull everything down and go. I wouldn't eat. call it fancy. No, this it's is the fancy another catapult. Way of chucking <laughs> rocks. This is the fancy double pendulum catapult. Trebuchet. It's just a giant thrower. You go yeet. Are these gonna be able to hit dragons? Yes! That's literally why I'm building these. Okay, but... You're not planning to just put them in a line here, are you? No. Okay... That's a picture of a catapult. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. To compare. No, the one above different. it. The one above it's a trebuchet. There's two images. Yeah, the second one's a catapult. <laughs> yeah, I said there's two images. This is yeah, for comparison. The one above it. The one above it. Very not the different. The one that you're seeing right now. There's We're one gonna above have it that's comments. a trebuchet. We're gonna just Google trebuchet and Google catapult. We're gonna have <laughs> comments. Gonna be like you but, idiots! You know nothing of your medieval siege weaponry. Trebuchets are better. <laughs> I know they're they better. Cooler. <laughs> anyway, I think ballistas are pretty neat. <laughs> ballistas are neat. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Honk. So I'm assuming that interaction has been completed sufficiently. Yeah. Yep. Unless Demer wants to go scream at the oak tree. No. You sure? It's that oak tree didn't do anything wrong. It's surprisingly good stress relief. Or there's a willow tree over by the river. It's great for crying. I will break all those trees if you don't let this go. Okay. Do you need anything? Can, can I get more you... hands to build more trebuchets? I I will see if I can find somebody. And on my way back to the hunting lodge, I stop by the carpenters. Ask if they'd like to help out. Uh, make a persuasion check. You should mention the fact that the dragons are going to kill us unless we kill them. The trebuchets help kill them. I explain that. I will assume the DC is adjusted accordingly. Uh, four? What? You rolled a four? Just a four. My persuasion okay. is a plus zero. You should not be talking to people legally. <laughs> you legally should not talk to people. Hang on, give me one second, because my computer is running slow as molasses here. I'm gonna real quick... Uh, need to link something to myself. Do you need a uh, pause? Yeah, for just like a second. Okay. And we are back. Alright, so Sandra, you stop at the carpenter shop and ask if they can help, and you can see like they are currently building carts to assist in getting everything's getting everyone's stuff packed up and they look at you like, uh, sorry Sandra, we as much as we'd love to help, we gotta get it ready for no, 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 getting no, everyone I, going. Don't, don't worry about it. I get it. You do you. <laughs> and right. as I head back to the Hunter's Lodge, as I go in, I'm like, does anybody know how to build a trebuchet? 
they all just like blink at you. Uh. Paltrius slowly raises his hand. Okay, there's a tiefling in the woods building trebuchets. That could help you get people to make them. Paltria slowly lowers his hand. No one. Pong. Huh. Okay. And I go back to what uh, whatever it was I was doing. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, was there anything else anyone wanted to do before we hit the fast forward button? No. Uh, buy a tent. You're just given a tent for free. Oh, cool. I put that in the bag of holding. Free tent! <laughs> I, I, I intended to buy a tent while we were here. Also, I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hang out with Ruffles. You're hanging out with Ruffles. And probably Selena. Do you tell Selena that she needs to leave town? Yeah. Uh, before you'd have left, Zax is gonna ask. Before you'd have left to go to your stuff, Zax would ask you, like, so where is she? <laughs> Where's the mayor? Uh. <laughs> in the middle of the woods building trebuchets. Awfully close to that oak tree I used to scream at. Can you give me directions? As I pull out the map, and I'm like, it's around... Uh, I mean, if you go off the map here, and then it's, it's around there. Do you think I'd be able to find it? <laughs> uh... Possibly? Stares at you and clown. <laughs> like, is there like, uh, is, is it obvious? Is she hiding? Is, is it obvious? Eh, I used my skills as a ranger to track her down. Um, hmm. I guess I'll go see if I can join her. I don't really have much to do here at the, at the hunter's lounge. People just sort of are existing. It's, it's, a, it's a guild. It's this. It's both. They have chairs and couches here. Anyhow, Zach's just gonna head out. <laughs> we have time, right? A couple uh, days, yeah. All right, and Zach's gonna cast fly and go hover over the forests to but seek out where. Uh... Don't get stopped by the police again. It's like I have a license. <laughs> fly out. Yeah, but, <laughs> seek out where the tiefling is. Or well, not tiefling. The fuzzy. The fuzzy demon. The race is a tiefling. <laughs> no, it's a fuzzy demon. The race is actually custom language. Yeah, it's a fuzzy demon. I'm gonna stop accepting homebrew for this, I swear to the goddess. You immediately chose homebrew to start with. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. even homebrew, this is Tasha's. Fawn is... That's true, that is true. Fawns you chose Tasha's, it's all legal. barely homebrew at this point, alright? There is a fawn in critical role. Yeah, and they're homebrew. We have so much representation at this especially point. At this po especially at this point, since I'm pretty sure... Um, Critical Anyhow. Is, like, out their D &D. Why would they do that? More like, change it up, I guess, after the fiasco involving what... Never mind. Yeah, never mind. This isn't about that show, it's about our show. Yeah. <sighs> So, uh, was so, so so yeah, Zach, you are able to fly. You, you kind of you know skirt around going through the main thoroughfare of the town, and uh, like I have a license, you, but whatever, fuck them. Yeah, it, you know better. 
regardless, uh, following the directions Sandra gave, uh, it, it more or less is like leaving from Sandra's house in a specific direction. And you're, what, what's your passive perception? Um, it should be fourteen. Let me just double check. Yeah, fourteen. Yeah, it takes you a little bit, but you're actually able to like. There aren't a bunch of lumberjacks in the woods, so, you know, the one lumberjane that's out there is actually pretty easy to find from the sound of an axe hitting a tree, especially while you're in the air. So, mm. uh, Demare, you, it, it's a bit harder to notice, but you do catch the approaching flying clown as they pursue your general vicinity. I sneer and continue working. Hey. Um, I didn't get to explain stuff. Uh, so. The whole I kind of uh, let it drop about your friend. Um, that's on me. In my defense, I I kind of I, I misread the whole situation. I thought I thought it was I I because you said you were in debt to her, but I thought it was a bad thing. Them, them. Sorry, them. Uh, yeah, the I I I, I heard I, I heard you were you, you, the, the, yeah I heard you were in debt to them, and I, I misread the thing. Um, I'm very bad at reading. <laughs> In general. Yeah, that looks uh, obvious. You just eat everything. I can talk, but I can't really listen that much well. Um, I'm uh, willing to do what I can, though. Uh, help make up for stuffs. Uh, Just kind of grumbles at you. Long. The sad clown noises. Mirror glares at the mention of a horn. Um. Do you need some help? Um, Not from you. Can I get you some help? I don't know. Sure. Hands. More hands. But like, what? what I don't know. Uh, uh, craftspeople, right? Um. Hands. Look at those stupid ass adventurers doing nothing. Make themselves useful. Okay, but what do you want to do? It's for me to decide when they get here. All right. So the group, or like anyone. Anyone. Uh, all right. Um. Yeah. Go check in on the fucking local. Wait, do, do they even have an adventurers guild here? No. <gasps> Shit. I guess the hunters lodge is like the closest equivalent. All right. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna go do that. Uh, still sorry about things. Come here, flips off, Zach. Come on. Alright, so, Zach, are you going to go back to the Hunter's Lodge? Uh, I'm gonna choose to actually hit by some of the... Even though it's like, oh, well, the adventurers suck, but it's like, I mean... I mean, she could probably, I don't know, use some craftspeople, so just gonna visit... Or try to, try to locate, like, where the fuck are the local guilds anyway? Just to, like, hey, be useful. <laughs> Uh, there aren't many local guilds per se. It, it's a small enough town where it's like, this is the carpenter. There might be some other people who also know yeah. carpentry, but like, it, it, they don't need an entire guild for the one carpentry business. Yeah, and if they can't find something, they're just gonna reference the hunters, the hunters, the hunters, the hunters guild, the hunters lodge, hunters lodge. Yeah, the, the reference to Hunter's Lawn, just like, where where is these things? Where do you find it? 
<laughs> where's your carpenters people? Where's your smithies? Where's your people that can be useful? I just and what the fuck are you doing? I just turn and look at Zack and I'm like, don't bother. You're looking for people to build trebuchets, right? Okay, yeah. I tried a lot already. Okay, but how did you try? What did they say? Uh, the carpenters are busy building wagons so everyone can get out of here. Fair. I'm gonna see if I can get some extra supplies, though. <laughs> I don't know, any resources they're not gonna be using. i load that up and get the adventurers going. Um, let me think. What don't we need? Yeah. Just, just, just come with me. Zach's gonna, like, position the, like, the lift sounder enough just to fly towards the fucking guilds mentioned. It's, okay, can you guys handle things here for another half hour? I gotta help them. <laughs> Tell them to head out to the fucking woods. Uh, <laughs> Look for the yeah. <laughs> yeah. She needs for assistance. The... Offer for uh, that whole. Yeah, it's still open. They continue practicing instead. I mean, if you think that's gonna help you not lose everything, <laughs> you do you. They, you. You can see that there's a number of them, like sharpening daggers and arrow points and making more arrows, making sure the bow strings are good having backup bows if need be. They, they're doing their general preparation for fighting an invading force. How minimal but, do they look? <laughs> I mean, I uh, guess. They look like they're skilled hunters, especially with uh, how Sandra's been training them in mm. the art of killing dragons. But it, it's... It, you don't have high hopes. They're not dragon slayers. They, they might be able to fight the wormlings pretty proficiently as long as they don't get, you know, bit. Hmm. So, Alright, let's get what resources and willing hands are available. Uh, Zach, you know the places. I gotta yeah? warn you, we're, we're not really known for our craftsmanship here. I know, but she's willing to take on anyone mm -hmm. who's, like, just gonna be helping with stuff that mm -hmm. isn't gonna be not... Just a... Manual labor. This is what we're looking for. Mostly known for bears and really good beef stew. Okay, but you have people who are willing to use their hands. The answer should be yes, they don't live in a fancy city. <laughs> it is fairly podunk. Come on, let's go look for w manual labor. help with this? Uh... Is that a question towards the Game Master? Hypothetically, I mean, You yes. want assistance of a criminal, Ben. You already kind of directed them to help a bit, didn't you? Yeah. I believe the mayor did. Yeah. Just something. Oh my gosh. So, you would, Sandra, you, you would know that if there were anyone who would be available to help, they're likely already either helping people hack or assisting at the carpenters to build more transportation vehicles. Because it, it, you know, hey, the the town might be burned down in like forty eight hours, but it, it is very much a like people are doing their best to not panic as their homes are maybe not going to be there next week and hopefully they're going to have everything that they can pick up and carry that's important to them with them so that's about what everyone is dealing with right now you know you kind of 
gave your whole spiel at the uh, Spicy Oak, and it, it's not a uh, it's not a private thing anymore. You, you got the word out that dragons are incoming, and you need to people need to get going. Hmm. Are there no more resources of, fa- of, of manpower we can exhaust? You're, 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 uh... I mean, all right, if you want to erect the fences and just sort of sharpen things <laughs> instead. You're probably not gonna... Mm. Look, okay, just look, just look to, be, to, to be direct. We could build more trebuchets with more help, I think, uh, and stuff. Uh, huh. okay. Also, knives. buy goodwill with the mayor. Knives. What? I need to pick up my knife. Yes? <laughs> I just remembered that. Thanks for reminding me. Okay, where where is it? Um, it's being made at the smith. Alright, Zach just grabs her and flies toward the smith. I gotta walk. <laughs> Too late. I complain have... the whole time. Hair clown. <laughs> there is no in-flight entertainment except for the whole fact that you're not being dropped. So that itself is the entertainment, but not for you. I complain the whole time. You used to complain now. Let's go shoo. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, if I recall, it's going to take additional days for it to be completed, but... In the coming days, you are able to get the dagger. Uh, you can see the the guard, Zach, as you're kind of going throughout the town with Sandra, the, the guards for the town are... It, it looks like there's like a very small rotation of guards patrolling just to make sure that there isn't shenanigans afoot, but... There are a lot of individuals who are assisting packing wagons and such and making sure that people know where they are going. Uh, There is the town crier that is going house to house and handing out plans for how they're going to evacuate the town. And uh, assumably you are also handed one and you see that uh, the day prior to the dragons arriving, uh, the town is going to begin making their way to uh, towards Elvania. Making their way downtown. Hmm. They will be walking fast. Faces fast. Yeah, they should but walk fast. <laughs> they're the opposite of homebound. So. Oh. Was there anything else anyone would like to do in the coming days? Stats on the dagger? Uh, the Dragonbone dagger? Yeah. Uh, I will say that since they are finely crafted Dragonbone, they are, while being, while being non-magical, it is a finely crafted dagger, so it will get a plus one bonus. As if it were a magic item. Okay. Saves me the saves me the trouble of having to draw up a new thing in my inventory. I think aside from just telling the mayor fucking fucking everyone's decided they're gonna do whatever the fuck they're gonna do, so apparently this town has no fucking willing hands to help build stuff that's gonna help save them, but whatever. <laughs> Um, aside from relaying back with the mayor and being willing to help with more stuff if she's open to things. Yeah, nah. The mayor? What? It's like, aside from Zach just reporting back that fucking, the town has no more expendable manpower, apparently, because everyone's decided they're either just gonna train and do nothing, just like, she needs any more help, I guess. Honk. Hey. 
fucking okay. Gonna. Uh, Zach's gonna spend the remaining time just uh, seeing what they can exploit of uh, the. Well, what's the town's current mood actually? <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> uh, on the the, how much pad. despair is there? Uh, a, a pretty good amount, actually. How much despair and desperation? Because Zach is going to attempt to uh, assist, assist assist the rise of the clown cult again. I <laughs> so, will pl not pl allow pl this. Pl just in, uh, in, 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 in the corners whenever they're unavailable, just uh, fly about uh, just how fucked things are, how hilariously fucked the, the things are. And how truly only by giving in to how hilariously fucked things are and attempting to spread mirth regardless, one can find powers most colorful that can help save them in their end of days. Over the and perhaps prolong them through laughter, cruel as it may be. <laughs> Over the course of the next several days, I am going to slap them Multiple good luck, times. deception is <laughs> good luck, Zach. Deception is good. They're gonna fucking bamboozle the shit. <laughs> You're not helping. It is helping. It's getting more warlocks made. Don't worry You're about it. You're not helping. I mean, it'll bring jo some joy at least. Exactly. You take some of the people who are currently going through a life crisis that is literally. Oh god, what the fuck, everything I work for is gonna go down and I'm gonna be homeless and stuff. Do to something. embrace clownery. I give you, a, I, I'm offering them a hand in the middle of the oncoming apocalypse that we may or may not divert for them. Do <laughs> something. This is something. It's not helping. Several well, clowns have found the really clown god. Do, so. <laughs> and their really lives have been made so much better. Much <laughs> Nicholas is an example of what faith in a higher power can do. Zach, Though maybe Zach, less faith and more dark Zach, worship still. Zack. <laughs> Zack. 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 You cannot stop the tendrils. And I pull them aside. <laughs> you don't want to get into it with the circus around here. It is too late. I've already passed out flyers. The last time the circus <laughs> came to town, people died, Zack. That's part of the show. In fact, they were trampled by bears. Oh, we don't really work with bears. There's a lot of bad memories about the circus around here, Zach. In that case, we need to make even harder with the circus to f clear up the image. We don't work with bears. You don't need- you don't want to get into it with these people. Anyway, Steve, how does that go? <laughs> uh, go ahead and make a clownery roll. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think we said this is a charisma save, right? <laughs> or like charisma proficiency, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, bam! Clownery. Spreading uh, the mirth. <laughs> just for the so sake you... of spreading the cult. Their goal is not actually to make warlocks. Their goal is just to spread clownery, since the environment's so rich for it. Stop putting your so... cult in my in my hometown. <laughs> Yes, the depressing talent had to attack my dragon. Even if Warlock requires you to do service for your patron, okay? Well, don't do it so, here! Zach, you attempt to spread mirth and do various clown acts and hand out pamphlets and... Ideological brainwashing, yeah. <laughs> you find that Sandra was absolutely right. These people are a bunch of fucking sticks in the mud. They are focused on packing up their shit and leaving and won't give you the time of day. <laughs> Few people even, like, scoff at you. It is not well received. Do you have a moment to talk about my lord and savior, Bong Go the Clown? <laughs> Fucking no! <laughs> if nothing else, I know I'll be happier than them. <laughs> that you will. How high because was that DC? The world may never know. Alright. <laughs> it was 15 for a decent result. Dang it. Wow, one off! <laughs> And that's just, like, minimal success. The DC was high. This town, as Sandra said, is a stick in the mud. They also this town have has a lot of stupid problems. rules. 
Oh, just wait. <laughs> oh no! What's anyway. Who, who Wait, it's gonna be the other town that gets blown up. Hmm. Anyway, uh, was there anything <laughs> else <laughs> anyone... No, <laughs> Zach's was motivation there... to protect the town is diminished. Was there anything else anyone else wanted to do? Yeah, I got one more thing. Alright. Uh, I wanna talk to Amon. Alright. Um, I kinda corner him in his study. I'm like, hey... Hey there, Sandra. How you doing? Stressed. Kind of like I got the weight Ooh, of the yeah. world on my shoulders. Well, you do got a lot on your shoulders there, bud. Mm-hmm. So listen, uh, a couple things. Uh, I was hoping you had maps for, uh, Probably the frozen north and the southern isles. What uh, what are you needing those for? I don't know. I just might need them. And, well. and another map. Uh, do you still have the old Angara map where you circled my old town? That's just a sign thing that might come up later, but do you have it? Uh, yeah, I should have those still uh, packed away here somewhere. They're, uh, the first edition drafts here, so it'd be nice to make sure they get back to me in one piece. I'll do my best to take care of them. And I would really feel better if you and Rena were evacuating to Elvania. Yeah, we we thought about that, and uh, well, if you think it's a good idea, then yeah, we'll we'll get going then. Oh, uh, here, take this, and I reach into my pocket and I pull out one of the sending stones. Oh, one of these here. Yeah. Um, I'll call you and let you know how it goes here and let let everyone know if it's safe to come back sounds good Sandra we'll uh we'll stay safe now thanks uh, that's that's all of my shoulders so was there anything else Dante's just helping the people who are actually going to be fighting. Yeah, giving them it. pointers and everything while also increasing morale. So I haven't said with his I unbridled have... confidence. I guess Nikos is probably just helping the town heal, learn how to heal and whatnot to keep them protected as much as he can. I've got an it's... idea. What is your idea? How likely would it be? Now keep in mind, it's a very low level spell, but how many people could learn Zephyr Strike in three days? Uh. Level one spell Zephyr Strike. So, let me real quick. Um. So most of these hunters, yeah, a, a couple of them probably would be able to have Zephyr Strike, if not already know how to. Yeah, I'm going to try to teach that to a few people that seem more magically adept. Because so far it's been one of the greatest tools in my arsenal. Alright. So, uh, Demir is making trebuchets. Dante is raising morale and doing physical And helping workout. train some of them. A given point. Uh, then, uh, Sandra is also doing training and teaching Zephyr Strike. Uh, 
let's check. So Nicholas was uh, try. So uh, I'll say at come day three, it's pretty definitive. There are a handful of people who are staying and helping fight, but most of the town guard is going to be going with the actual town itself in order to keep the townsfolk safe on the road. Uh, obviously, the hunters from the Hunter's Lodge are sticking with you, but uh, it, it becomes pretty definitive who is staying and who is going. So you do have some additional individuals who are gathered and getting prepared with you for the last couple of days. The Hunter's Lodge becomes a hub of training, so there are some individuals, you know, some ex-adventurers or farmers who want to try their hand with a sword. Uh, it, it's a motley crew. Uh, there are a couple who specifically stay to assist with learning like healing and such the first aid first responders uh there is a a preacher who is also a cleric that is staying with you and so uh just to so uh zach was attempting to convert individuals of the town to the honk mother and uh what was regina doing in the meantime um she will be staying in the lodge um just observing and just preparing her gear for what is to come since everybody seems to be either training or preparing so her she is not needed at the moment uh paltrius and amalfia are taking some time to brew some additional potions and get some very basic enchantments on some of the weapons and armor for some of the townsfolk just so they have a little bit more of a chance but if there wasn't anything further than the dawn of the final day comes and i will say there so there are the two main areas that the dragons are coming from. There is the northern area and the southern area. And they will be arriving at the town within short enough difference of time that you will not be able to go to both locations. So... Split the party! Yeah! You can choose to either split the party or have the. Uh, you, you can have townsfolk attempts to protect one of the sides. Uh, just as a reminder, the south side has a young red dragon, an adult orange dragon, and four dragon wormlings. The north side has a young silver dragon, young brass dragon, and three bronze wormlings. Wow, uh... Mm, yeah. I don't think villagers will stand a chance to either of these for, like, very long at all. Is there, like, a with what... more or less exact location from which they're approaching? Uh, North, I northwise would be able... I would be able to show you, but, uh, right now, Foundry is absolutely not loading any of the maps. So, uh, let me actually... Okay. I'm just going to full restart my browser. Uh, I, guess, I guess my question is, should Sandra climb up on the roof of her house? Uh, so, they, they are coming from directions, but if you, like, allow them further in, you can have... Uh, more or less you can choose where you are oh there we go awesome it actually loaded uh so the ones that are approaching from the north let me grab the drawn tool here uh they will be coming from this direction towards the watchtower 
So, uh, it, yeah, if Sandra wanted to camp out, like, on her roof, yeah, you can absolutely fight from there. I'm camping uh, on the roof. And the southern, it is, they are coming in from around this area here. It looks like they're sticking close to a river. Well, the river, I should say. Are silver dragons flame based? No, those uh, are ice. Are they? Pretty sure. I know gold ones are fire. Gotta remember that silver, I mean, metallic dragons also have that secondary breath, which is pretty nasty. Oh. Gotta be careful when I get paralyzed or put to sleep. I have a few ideas on that. Hmm. Uh, so, I forget. How how big are the dragons? Oh, dragon size. Huge. Damn you. <laughs> Damn you. They are, give or take, the size of a dragon. Uh, Which one are we feeling more confident about? I'm wondering where Sandra's fire immunity is going to be more useful. So, what was the more... Like, which side had more dragons, or I guess which side would be harder to take down, I guess is the better question. Like, I'd rather not split the party, personally. It would be preferable. Which side has any, if we know of if the dragons have lightning or not? Um, so... Okay, I will ask permission to open the monster manual on this one. So, if I recall, your dragonology role was like a map 20 earlier. Uh, oh, I think so, I for the sake of only looking at their breath weapons, uh, yes, you can have a look at that in the monster manual. Yes! Monster manual! Uh, Everybody else so, do something while I look this up. Uh, bronze dragons do breathe lightning, which the dragon wormlings would be breathing lightning. Uh, the silver dragons are the, the they are in fact cold. Uh, brass is fire, and the then obviously for south uh, that has the. Red Dragon, Red Dragon Wormlings, and Orange Dragon, which is... The information that you have is explosions, question mark? Orange ones... Explosion resistance? I want to fight the Orange Dragon. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> Let the mayor fight the Orange Dragon. Ancient blue... Oh my god, thank you. Ancient Explosion. green... Adult green... Young Red, Adult Red, Red Wormling, Ancient White, Adult White? Why are there so many goddamn dragons? What have you uh, done, It's in the Steve? name. I mean, what? Yeah, it is in the name. <sighs> Bronze. Hmm. Okay. Uh, where the hell? Okay. For me, going up against whatever has lightning is preferable because I can give myself and the people that are within 15 feet of me resistance to lightning. Using my knowledge as a dragon expert, would sleep breath work on me? Uh, are you, immune you are, if I recall, you are immune to sleep effects, so... Oh yeah, because Elf and, um, Deer, I guess, would be Faye also... And uh, I guess I would also be immune to it, yeah. Magic cannot put me to you sleep. Yeah, you because know, we cannot go to sleep normally. Alright, the Silver Boys... Hmm... 
Hmm. Quite a predicament with the silver boys, but uh, hopefully you guys can nail it down. All right. Well, I'm on the north side. Which side has the orange and red dragon? South side. South. Cool. I'm there. Where you built the trebuchets. Hell yeah, uh, I'm already there. I mean, you uh, built them in the like northeastish side, but you can move them. You, you got the time. I'm moving them. Do, do you want Maybe all of the trebuchets? I mean, if you really want, you can just lure them into the middle and have a clusterfuck. I don't like the silence. Sorry, uh, too busy. Sounds? Temptations. I, I just, I just, I just really prefer we don't split the group. I kind of split early. What do you suggest we do? I mean, okay, I just, I I'm also having difficulty. We, I ask him while we all stand around the war table Damn. in the hunting lodge. Yeah, but also, yeah, yeah though, uh, does, does Steve, do you have, like, a, a layout of the dragons to some degree? A layout of the dragons? Yeah, like a fucking, I don't know, I'm having difficult fucking... Visualizing it? Yeah, of the groups. Uh, oh, I'm still using that. Okay, yeah. so, uh... Yeah, no, this is supposed to be south. Uh, like numbers and sizes and such. <laughs> Just, eh. All I know is that that is my preference. If you guys don't want to, that's fine. I can go with you guys. It's just because I have a natural oh, resistance yeah, to I... lightning, and the fact that at 10th level, I can now give lightning resistance to anybody who's close to me. That's pretty pretty dope the silver for anybody who's, in, like who's doing CQC with me. I have a group. That was a white dragon we, last time. And we have like a doodle of the dragon groups. Just so we know what we're dealing with, so I can easily. Yeah, like how many of them? Yeah. Type is in like a. I, I cannot there. Because every time we say it verbally, okay. my brain okay. then just shuts okay. down. Okay. Uh, over the course of one of these days in preparation, we pull up the radar again and we jot down notes on I mean, exactly you... what we're up against. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's it's always working, right? The radar is not exactly like a. No, you gotta, you gotta put magic, magic into, into it. it. Okay, how much magic? I put a level three spell in just for the extra range. Yeah, I think that was um, enough, then, man. I don't do this the day of the attack, though. Oh, well, in that case, Zach could just pump it in every hour. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I got I, I refills every hour. I'm a, I'm a warlock. I could. I just let me take a nap. <laughs> yeah, literally, warlock. Get some. All right, away. let's look at the dragons. <laughs> it right, basically, like a summon now. minions, oh, go to sleep, summon more when you wake up. Mine would go away. I don't really do that, but yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just like yeah. Just Zach could just stick by the orb if you want. What type just to get of, no, get an accurate number what count. What type location. was the bronze dragon on radar? Can I tell? Uh, Hyper size. The the bronze was a wormling. There wasn't an adult bronze with them. Uh, it was adult brass with them. Or no, not adult. Uh, young brass. Okay. No, 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 nothing strange. Don't worry. I don't, I'm, I don't know where Dante saw the lightning breath. It's... No, one of you, I was asking about it, and one of you was looking it up and said that a certain one had that. Bronze dragons have lightning breath. Who was the bronze dragon with? The bronze dragon is north. I'm putting them on the map. I thought it was brass! <laughs> I recall brass are... You just said uh, brass! What's that brass? Okay, once and for all, what type of dragon is it? It's a bronze dragon, right? They, I mean, okay, the one that breathes lightning is bra bronze. Yes. Now, which one are we facing? <laughs> You're facing silver, brass, and bronze in the north. Okay, so both. Gotcha. And in the south, what is there? 
Uh, Brass has the red and orange. I didn't know there was a bear in the mix. Bear dragon. Uh, yeah, I called upon <laughs> oh, the God. Sun- bear riding a dragon. I called upon the spirits of the forest and asked and asked them for their aid. Bears come out of nowhere. What the fuck you want me to do? Fight dragons. The bears look think... at you like, are you fucking nuts? <laughs> and I, I walk can't away. even jump that high. I do I give a prayer to the, the goddess in we hopes that the she'll walk away. Destroy, the destroy their I wings if they are on the ground. I do give a prayer to the goddess and hope that she watches over us, though. I guess I'll pray to Mr. Mr. as well. She sighs, sick of your shit. Oh. <laughs> Specific, no, specifically Sandra. Just like, I'm sick of your shit. <laughs> like, I may be a goddess, but there's only so much I can do. I can't save you from you. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Hunter, can you pause the recording really quick? Yeah, I can do whatever you will, you want me to do. <laughs> okay, now the recording is back. And Hire to forget what back. the deal we made was. Uh, there now, was no deal. They did it at the, at the cost of their own heart. Now, oh, cool. They're clearly more again, experienced than we are. I'm good taking on the small group that Dante's okay with. Or, I don't know. Yeah. And now all the dragons are here. Oh boy. So, what was the question? Them dragons. <laughs> Whoa. Are there no wormlings with the southern group? Uh, there, there are. Sorry, I just got some ridiculous messages. <laughs> No, that's okay. The, While you were doing that, I posted some ridiculous stuff, too. Uh, so, uh, yes, I haven't... I, I've been digging in the monster file to grab the uh, wormlings. How many dragons uh, do we... Or are we supposed to have in there, anyway? In where? In our d- dragon folder... Um... Uh... uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Multiply that by two, that's twenty. I take the young dragons count, so thirty. Uh what are you counting? There's the ancient dragons, the adult dragons, the young dragons. I get tokens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's, around there's... forty. Around forty. That that is not me making shit crap up. No, I, I'm literally yeah, checking they... right now. Of each of the dragon colors, they're, they're, we're supposed to have one of each type of dragon. So, you know, wormling, young, adult, and ancient. So, yeah, uh, 40 tokens. I was right on the dot then. <laughs> right. Well, I'm. Maybe we should take the southern group since we have a group of six. I'm not willing to give up on my house. Okay, but. Zach, so gonna, you want calculus fight the of guy. your house versus your town? Zach, they're gonna mess up my fucking tomatoes. All right, death to Scythor, I guess. And all of my. Yeah, that's a lot of. If that's your a lot house gets big... destroyed, it gets destroyed, man. We, that's we, a lot of big southern dragons, and we got a good video. number of us. Uh, as much as I. Hmm. Well. I say we go after the bigger batch of dragons, to be honest. The stronger ones that look way more threatening. The, the small dragons, while well, they're going to be terrifying to the north side, I don't even want to imagine the what the big dragons, dragons, dragons are, are the outside. stronger ones, though. Isn't this a brass one? Isn't this an ancient brass dragon? Why it's not it, ancient. Why would there be an ancient brass dragon? 
We're not Hunter. end game. That'd be fucking stupid. Ancient brass dragon. So no, there is definitely an ancient brass dragon. Uh, and this one's big. So I'm assuming this is an ancient dragon right here. Just compared to these three, which are regular dragons, and these must be young dragons, and these are wormlings. So no, that's an ancient dragon right there. Just judging by size. What? Oh, can I check this? No, I cannot. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume it's an ancient one, just judging by how big it is compared to the other ones. Get the radar confirm what type Maybe it is. Maybe he Steve. chonky. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's an orange. The, this one is supposed to be the orange dragon, yes. Yes. Did it? Did so we that's the explosion dragon. Type? It, the, Steve the said adult, the orange explosion, right? Yeah, the adult orange dragon. Yeah, the one that fires explosions yeah, and this has the adult. biggest group. Yeah. Oh. That's okay. the biggest threat to the Shy Thor, I think. Thor? Aside from its posse. Sure, Wait. Thor. It says Shy in the name, damn you. Sure, Thor. Orange Dragon's not actually on here. It's not on the monster. Shire list. Thor. Sorry, I shouldn't be checking that. My bad. I can read. No, he's. Really I can good. read! No, he's right. He's not the uh, orange though. dragon is not in here. Okay, so why don't we consult a dragon expert on what would the bigger threat be? Is that you, Sandra? Isn't what that... is the bigger threat? <laughs> Just talking to yourself in the corner. <laughs> Turns out we are all figments of Sandra's imagination. Consulting Gasp. the DM here, what would be the largest threat in my expert opinion? Uh, oh, my head just spun. What the fuck? Steve? Oh, you're, you're actually asking me. Yes. Uh, so, that depends, uh, if you, so, threat to the town, probably all of the fire, threat to fight, with how much fire resistance you have, it, mayhaps the different types at the north end but the the adult dragon is a is a big problem shit all right i'll go where i'm needed and i'm uniquely suited to fighting the red ones it is the only way i'm going to have to save uh, I'm gonna need one hour to get the essentials out of my house. Whatever okay. Amon hasn't already gotten out. Nothing like furniture Amon. or anything. Amon is packing, right? Uh, at this point, I would hope Amon is gone. Uh, so, yeah, morning of, everyone left yesterday. Right, I'm gonna need an hour to get... Uh, it's more or less personal belongings out of my house. Where are you moving them to? Uh, my bag of holding. Alright. Some books. Maybe some of Amon's stuff that he cares about, but was not valuable enough to take with. I... Most stuff was taken, but yeah, it's very much a... I can't jump to the same map you are on. Uh, it, it's a toss-up because... Fucking middle mouse button is uh, Toss-up, rather. My grappling hook that I didn't bring with for some reason. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, you, you got your grappling hook. I, I checked the uh, pantry for cheese. Uh, make an investigation check. It's probably hmm. gone. <laughs> Five. Yeah, there's a distinct lack of cheese in here. <laughs> he it off. Well done, Amon. Okay. No <laughs> cheese will come for you in this train. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go through the study, get whatever's important. So, uh, your definition of important is, so, you know that the study, under the study, is a lockbox. Like, hidden under one of the desks is a fireproof box that all of the very important stuff would already be in. So even if the house burns down, there's some of that stuff in there. A lot of stuff's already been moved to the cellar. And uh, it, it, it's more or less like, we can't move this fucking bed as nice as that is. So all of the jewelry stuff that isn't going to melt is just stored away in, you know, underground safes. So, it, it, if everything ends up burning down, then they can still go through the rub it, rubble and get their belongings. Okay. All right. It's also it's funny that you mentioned the bed. Uh, I'm gonna take that pillow with the down feathers from a baby griffin. Mm -hmm. That that's it. That's all from the bed. Uh. Is anybody helping me with this? Do you want I'll help with it? Try and help get stuff out of your place. Or do, or, I don't know. Help me move it to the cellar. Sure. Probably not gonna be able to lift your chairs though. No, 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 no Don't worry about the furniture. I'm more worried about. Uh, Like, uh, books. Okay, I will do that. I'll definitely have you move the books. Scrolls, books are sacred. The globe. And scrolls. Yep. Globe also very okay. much. That important. globe was very expensive. Yeah, we do. We we do that for like an hour. Also, I water my tomatoes. <laughs> Watch right. your tomatoes be the first thing to go. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. So, tomatoes, water. Well, I purchased potions. And last All time, I make sure I do have my material. Right. If there's anything you want to stock up on, that would be the time. Holy water. I am going to gather up all my holy water. Uh, okay, you gather up all of your holy water uh they, there are a lot of like basic tools in the town like they weren't able to take everything so like your, your definition of what they can what they're stocking up on like obviously all the healing supplies and potions were either given to the general populace or uh like taken on the road with them so you, you can't really you know go magic item shopping here I'm gonna check the bank and make sure Demer didn't rob it. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, the building still looks like a locked up bank. You, 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 the safe is closed, and you would assume there are still a bunch of magic wards around it, because obviously there are magic, like, arcane sigils around, and it, everyone knows that big, important safes have magical protection. So, uh, without going inside of the vault, you have no idea if Demare has robbed the vault or not. Oh. And you would have needed to check either the boat or Demare slash her bag of holding. Well, she's probably so, still building trebuchets in the woods. I'll leave the vault as is. But other than that, I just do like general, you know, prep at uh, where the dragons are more or less going to show up until uh, until the warning bell rings. Also, where's everybody going? Uh, so, on the Shurthor map, uh, if everyone can either move their tokens south if they're going to the south side, or north if they're going to the north side, uh, and if everyone decides to go... Actually, I'm going to... Nicholas isn't on this map. Where is Nicholas? Nicholas oh, is underneath the uh, silver fine. dragon that you placed I there. am the dragon now! Oh, <laughs> I've been under there for a while, I should... Imagine. Uh, Nicholas finally gets shapeshift or whatever. Oh, oh wait, actually, yeah. you can get that, can I? <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, hang on, I'm going to also... <laughs> uh, I'm going to slap down a couple of generic, like, elven ranger tokens. Actually, here, uh, I'll temporarily use these bandits that I had used prior. Uh, these are going to be the, uh, so these are the, like, townsfolk unit, and, uh, you can put them wherever, as well as the, uh, I apologize. I should have had all of this prepared beforehand. So, once again, might be everyone. You need That's me to pause funny. again. Uh, I'm just grabbing like Archer. Where the elf? Um, elf. She's Actually, a no, bunch of Amons. Honestly, an army of Amon. How do I know you? To kill your dad twenty times over. You change the Amon token. Which I already forgot. Is it north or south as the lightning ones? North, I think. Gotcha. But up to you guys if you'd rather I stay with you or go separate. You'd be more useful up north. Yeet. But if things do get bad up there, just book it over here, I guess, or something. I don't know. Yep. Right. Wait, so, wait, so... Swing is always the best option than just... Losing our lives. Then where the heck is Nicholas going exactly? Uh, I, I thought I was gonna fight the big dragons down here. Yeah, we're going right. south, remember? Then who's going north? We're sending the others. Okay. Remember where I'm the only well. one going north. Oh, I mean, if uh, you want to. So, so the townsfolk and the other adventuring party, like, you can. Well. Regina, you are able to go wherever you would like, but uh, you can recommend that they also go somewhere. Also, you have all of the civilians to distribute wherever you want to put them. We'll give the, we'll give the North team a, a few, obviously. But we're kind of short-staffed down here. I'm just not sure how well it's going to go for the people if they don't have at least one 
person from the main party with them. Hence why it's like, well, if I'm good with lightning and anybody close to me is going to be resistant to lightning with me, it would make more sense for us to go up against that. Mm. What if we equally distribute townsfolks and rangers two and two on each team? Well, there's more than the two and two, but... Uh... But still, uh, yeah, if you want to disperse them evenly, yeah, we can have a mix of individuals. Let's do that. All right, cool. So you are 50-50 in the townsfolk, and I'll just like slap them over here. All right, so... Here is what we are going to do. I would also like to cast, cast Magic Circle. What'd that do? Sure, can you post the spell so I can know what it does? If I can find it, yes, sure. I think it's in my spell book. It is in my spell book. It's a third level. Yeah. And this is why I, I gathered up the holy water. Okay. Wait, can dragons be added to, uh... Can this be made to use against dragons? It doesn't say dragons are on here, so... Uh, it's, it's so... supposed to be extra planar creatures, and dragons are of this plane. I hate this spell. This is yeah, the for ghosts. stupidest spell! It's for ghosts. I it's hate not... it so much that I'm not ghosts going necessarily, to... But... Res reset my thing because that <sighs> I hate magic circle so much it's the dumbest spell I don't know why I got it for free I never Until use it until you deal with ghosts well, it is free and... it is free but I hate it. yeah for me Okay, I, so I don't cast Magic Circle fucking Adam because Sandler it sucks. Jump scaring my brain. Adam Sandler jump scaring my brain. Yeah. I don't remember what happened. I don't remember how Adam Sandler sounds. I, I try not to. Nah, he sounds like something. <laughs> I try not to. I would, I would only be able to start, like, quoting shit like Little Nicky and... <laughs> God, I haven't watched the, only, the movie in so long. The mind virus uh, continues. About the only thing that popped in my head from Adam Sandler is is the do you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world bit, and that's it. That, that's all I've got. That is right. some. Wait, that was Jim Carrey. Movies. Yeah, that's Jim Carrey. What? Yeah, that's really? Jim Carrey. Oops. Yeah. I didn't know. My bad. I remember the part. In, <laughs> Can't even give him that credit then. Fucking what's yeah. it called? Can we get underway? Jack and Jill when it's just like, you don't want to play Twister with your sister? Oh god. I remember that one. You shouldn't have. <laughs> For me, it's underway? the entirety of, like, Little Nicky, Waterboy, um... God, what was the one where you had to go through school all over again? I can't think of the name. I like but that snacks. one. Billy Madison, yes. Then there's the amazing movie it was part of all of Pixels. Oh yeah, I forgot that was even a thing that existed. Can we at stop one point. talking about <laughs> actors that I hate? No. <laughs> Trust I mean, me, yeah. he's not happy with himself either. Shane, we're gonna get comments. <laughs> People are gonna watch this far into the video and be like, "Hey, you should review this Adam Sandler movie," and I'm going to scream at people again. Hey, comments are comments. <laughs> Interactions, interactions are interactions. Yeah, interactions are interactions. Oh god, imagine if deleting them is why. Um... Oh. Alright, let's go. Alright, so Honk. are you wanting to be in or outside of town? I'm assuming you're a bit outside of town. A little bit, As yeah. to protect the town. Alright, cool. So. Oh. Uh. Oh, fuck. I just realized. I don't think I have any trebuchet tokens. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I will allow you to draw that. Yeah. Trebuchet? Please, Trebuchet. You can't, you can't fail me now. You can't fail me now. Where's Garen frickin' T? Oh, we don't have trebuchets. Trade goods? Nope. Definitely not in trade goods. There has to be. I swear we probably have an icon for it. Possibly. Probably. It's like I swear we had like cannon icons. Uh, that was in incarnate. I, I need to figure out where what this would be located under construct. Nope, there's a rug. I'm pretty sure we don't have one. I am also looking, and I'm about to pause mm -hmm. the recording. Like you probably I'm... should again. Yeah, I'm going for it. Yeah. And then we found the trebuchets. They are on the battle, which we cannot see. Will, William sure Shatner. Ah. Uh, Why am uh, I William Shatner? We have devolved to the voices segment. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. My ill preparedness has taken us this far. I. Uh, you I a, you've I led us this far. We'll follow you to the ends of the. <laughs> okay, so. Falls right we have. Off. Eight trebuchets, apparently. Eight. <laughs> All in the south end, from what I was told. Can we move yeah. a couple uh. of them north? Uh, they belong to Tamir. Tamir, where yeah. would you what? like them? What about me, huh? Yeah, yeah, your trebuchets. Where do you want your trebuchets? Fucking pointing at the dragons, obviously. Can okay, we but move... we have two groups of dragons. Can do you we... want to move some up there, to the north? No. Why not? There's only two of them. They need help. And uh, I thought you said there was eight there's of them. Like... Oh, there's yeah, eight? There, yeah, there's, 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 there's three as well. There's like nine wormlings with them. Oh, do you mean there's eight trebuchets or there's eight? <laughs> or there's there's only eight trebuchets. trebuchets. Yeah. Okay. You have eight trebuchets. Do you want to uh, send one to the north or something. They have a Dante. It's fine. D D Dante has gone down twice to dragons. Yeah, uh, well, No, skillish. I have not gone down twice to dragons. I went down one. Oh, wait, no. I did do the one time. But yeah, it's only been once that I went down to dragons. The other time, technically I didn't. Because I never updated my health. I would not have died. I would not have gotten down if I had if I had updated my health because I didn't update my health for like four levels. Look at how many big dragons we got here. Inverted cheatsy doodles. You nerfed yourself for that battle. I literally nerfed myself and still came out on top. So it's fine. Sandra whips out the spyglass. I could probably down four of those with one arrow each and still have enough left over for the big ones. We should probably send the people up north some artillery. Yeah, let's go to here. Eh? It's good here. Yeah. I mean, they got like. Look, they have a bunch of tiny dragons. We have a bunch of big dragons. They also have a. They have like three they people who are pretty good at their stuff. <laughs> Compared to us, so like, can they've got the... OCs up there. It's fine. Can yeah, we... they have OCs. Don't worry about it. Demir, can I borrow one of your sending stones? There's a sending stone to sound it. And I hand that sending stone to Dante. You just reach all the way over there. Let's pretend we did this ahead of time. Reaching through time and space. Let's pretend I never, I never this. moved my guys, so... Take the transplanter fucking high five, damn it. Call us if something bad happens. We'll call you if something bad happens. Communication. It's the thing we didn't have when we laid siege to that orc city. I mean, 
own yeah, show. Yeah, that's true. Did we really have sending stones? Well, we had it, but it was just for us. Just the one. Yeah. You know, that would be such a good thing for money that we didn't, that the group didn't take for some reason. Just oh, rubs a couple it. coins together <laughs> annoyedly. Okay. I think Are we in agreement? Have we reached consensus? Consent. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Hong. All right. So, we'll go ahead and start with the south map. And uh, so, since Coco and uh, Shane will not have their characters here, uh, you will be playing multiple smaller characters who uh, there are, it should be an even amount of each of them. Uh, which of you would like to play the uh, hunters who are archers, and which of you would like to play the uh, melee center townsfolk? I'll be the melee center townsfolk. Well, I guess I'll be the archers. Well, I, I do I do melee, so melee uh, it is. Of course you would. <laughs> I mean, if I'm a melee character, might as well do other melee characters. It only makes sense. All right. So, uh, the group all makes their way south, and as you find an area that is nearby the waterway, uh, where the dragons should be approaching, it's a decent way out of town, and you can see them flying the distance. It's pretty hard to miss. They fly. Are they in range of my trebuchets? They're getting closer. I want to spend the time waiting for them to get good aim on them and we them get in range. I kind of yep. give Demir a signal. Hold. Demir just kind of looks angrily at Sandra. I'm sorry, who's the dragon expert here? I'm sorry, who's the trebuchet expert? Let's combine forces, okay? I'll shoot them. Tell me which one to shoot. How about that? <sighs> deal. Let's just... Yeah, All right. deal. Please. Hong. It's focused on the mission of killing all the big dragons. <laughs> Alright. So. They begin getting closer and closer and you see them coming in and the you see two of the dragons pick up and begin changing their director their direction and it looks like they part from the group of the other dragons. You can see the smaller dragons appear to just be flying straight towards you, and the other two are going off to the sides. Huh. How do you want to play this, Sandra? <laughs> I want to hit one of those guys on the side. Can you hit them? Demir just kind of looks slightly insulted at Sandra. Are they in range? Uh, are they in range? Uh, they will be soon. I'm gonna shoot them. All right. So, so when, when you say that the smaller ones are breaking ooh. off, like the smaller ones are coming straight towards you, the bigger ones broke off. Uh, now, when you say uh, breaking off, are they completely avoiding us? Um. Make an insight check. Yeah. I'm good at those. <laughs> yes, I could do an insight check as well. Wait a minute. Do I get advantage on this? Uh, I'll say... Favorite enemy. Dragon base check. Sure. Favorite enemy. 21. Uh, 
It, they are flanking me. Oh, Pirates, no. Um, <laughs> tired of stuff. Okay. Uh, the mayor, can I... Do you, do you mind giving me back the broom, or do you want to use the broom? I was going to use the broom. What are, you really, are, you, are you planning on using the broom? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I'm doing all the trophy shakes. Probably not. Here, take the broom. Alright. <laughs> Zach's gonna... Yeah, no, I'll give it to you afterwards. What the broom? <laughs> Just takes up the broom of flying and it's gonna... speak the command word to get on God, it. I wonder what they're gonna do with the broom of flying. It's not flying yet, but there's the... they're on it. We are prepared to fly. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and swap you all to the battle map, uh, and you are going to be getting... If I understand uh, the broom usage, it just means I have to not... Yeah, it just lets you fly. Movement, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to swap to the battle map here. You should have all of your tokens placed. Um, Wait, the catapults are aimed the wrong way. A oh, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's been That's such a pain, pain with these pain. trebuchet Sorry. tokens. Don't worry about. It. You can rotate them. Oh, my. it's fine. Oh, it's the fuck. Never mind. It's just the icon slowly backwards. Little mouse. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Why is there a stove out here? Uh, uh, people have to go. Don't worry about something. it. How about that? Huh? Don't judge. Punk. It's a lot of daggins. Okay. So, uh, important questions. Uh, how many trebuchets are you aiming where? Why is there a dead person in the river? Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, so I want to aim half of them at the flanking dragons, half of them at the not flanking dragons. Okay, so two of them at each of the dragons on the sides, and then uh, four of them at the cluster in the center? Yes. Okay, so uh, since we have a good six players here, uh, I would like... Everyone, uh, so I'll say, uh, Sandra and Demare, uh, yes. I I'm assuming, Demare, you're operating one of these yourself? Oh, I'm operating a cannon. Oh. Shit, yeah, I forgot about the cannon. Hang on. Wait, you built a cannon? The, no, the cannon brought was brought. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, that's right. Our one cannon, we finally get to cool. use it. Cool. That is a good uh, usage of stuff. Ah, uh, it is. Cannon. I appreciate All right. it. Uh, so, the cannon has a bit less range. Uh, I'm just putting it here for convenience. Uh, but, so, uh, since you are operating the cannon, I will say the standard role for these, for people who know how to use them, uh, is a plus five. So, I would like everyone to roll me 1d20 plus 5 versus their dragons. Uh, I'll say Demir's d20 and Sandra's d20 are going to be reserved for the two on the sides. So I am so also I... rolling? Yes, all, all six of you are rolling a d20 right, plus 5. Plus 5? Yes, a d20 plus 5. Wow, a 10. Yay. Mid. What the fuck is happening? Uh, that is one, two, three, four misses. Untrained people firing a trebuchet for the first time in their lives. <laughs> and they got it. My, mine do. BRB, I gotta go real quick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mine and got this shit. So, then, uh, I will say, uh, the, since Dante and Coco are operating the NPCs, you both get one additional attack. Uh, they are both going towards the side dragons. Nice. And Dante? Oh yeah, the manager's saying communicate via the sheet. I think she had to talk with someone. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I noticed they both yep. left at the same time. Yeah. Uh, is it 
so the cannon rolled, and I don't know if that's Coco or if that's, that's me. Me. Okay, that's so, me. Okay, Dante, can you roll another d20 plus five? Uh. All right, great. So uh, the uh, the breast dragon is hit once. Wait, hang on. That was a twenty. Yeah, that that hits. Uh, and then the uh, oh, actually the twenty on the brass dragon. Not is this? No, this is the orange dragon. I'm saying the wrong colors. Uh, orange dragon. So the twenty is actually a mick. Uh, but there is a full-on oh, collision no. with one of the wormlings. Uh, so. Uh, Dante, I need you to roll trebuchet damage for me, which is 8 to d10. And, uh, Coco also roll 8 d10. Yeah, it's almost like they fucking hurl giant fucking stones. Uh, so, oh boy. And that, and that 63, that's what hit the orange one? No, the 63 hit one of the wormlings, oh, it's which, fucking dead. <laughs> uh, it is not dead, in fact. Uh, it is not looking good, though. It fucking ass over tea kettle starts spiraling through the air and hits a fucking tree. But it, <laughs> You see, this is why I bought the cannon for us. Uh, and then let's do the minus 21. All right. So with that... Uh, I'll say, Demir, you've prepped your action. Uh, when the Dargan gets in range... Which Dargan? There's a lot of them. The one that you're aiming at specifically with the cannon, I'm assuming. Alright, that one. Which one are you aiming at with the cannon? I fucking know! Are you not looking at the map? <laughs> that one, the big guy. Okay, the orange dragon, I'm assuming? Yes, I, w I want him. Okay, so the giant. Uh, they will Actually, get can I range. tell its gender from here? Uh, seeing as how reptiles have interior genitalia, no. Damn. I know, yeah, I'm killing this one. All right. Jack asked Sandra, is that a, is the, what's the gender? Is that, <laughs> actually no, I guess you'd I have, really tell. You'd have to be yeah. pretty damn close if We'd it were like how a lot of reptiles like are, you'd have to get really fucking close. Can I Better really question. quickly write what gender are you on the cannonballs? I fire it. <laughs> yep, you just Sandra's like stick your arm down the barrel and press it to it on. Hell yeah. As Zach right. asked that question, I just turn and look at them. Like, okay, other oh, side question. From, 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 the, from, from the studies, do we, do, do we know if they're intelligent or not? Or are they... I can't recall. They're probably going berserk. The metallics yeah. are usually intelligent. Okay, but considering they have the goop in them. Yeah, wait, wait, are they gooped? Goop. Shit, do they look... Look, we're killing dragons, okay? I need to know for my spells. Regardless, they're attacking. Are they gooped? I know, I need to know for my spells. Steve, are the they... Man. Yes. Make your attack. What's my attack? Uh... Can make a proficient, uh, ranged attack. With my intelligence? I remember you always using intelligence. Yeah, sure, because you're using math. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Mayor 220 plus a PhD eight. in ballistics. Um... Uh, Oh, yeah, that hits. Um, cool. Die. Alright, and... How many like, do I roll? Which one is uh, this? According to the stat block, it's the same as the trebuchet, which is 8d10. 8d10? That's gonna hurt. Yeah, it... Oh, oh no. That's, uh... Oh, wow. A lot of wounds, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that rips through part of its wing, and <laughs> oh, it's, it ain't flying it, it's anymore. definitely not happy about that. Uh, it's still airborne, but, oh, uh, heck. now we can go ahead and... I flip the dragon it. off as a, as a, it looks at me, probably. So, Was at that this the time... One? Yes. Okay. At, at this time, I would like to ask, 
How are we doing for time? It is currently 11.14. We are about to start a combat that might last a bit. I'm good to go. I don't know if anyone... I'm, I'm good to go. Usually I don't go until 1. I've been stressing yeah, about this go, for a I while. I want to do it. The whole party looks to Shane. Yeah, I'm good now. Alright. Uh, so, let's all roll initiative and also bathroom break. <laughs> I, oh, I, I just put on the combat music. Uh, yeah, but yes, I would like that. At least I got a good initiative roll. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty decent roll. Okay, hang on, yeah, we're, we're rolling. Wait, what? That's not what I roll. Oh, oh, I'm the red die, right? No, I got a bad roll. <laughs> <laughs> you got my initiative. You yeah, I don't, I don't know, know what my I roll did is that. when I'm I did that. generic NPCs. I guess I saw yours first and I thought that was mine. Uh, I don't know why I did that. It's <laughs> your yeah. generic NPC. Uh, you got an 18. Nice. Oh, God, there are and... Oh, those are the NPCs. Oh, Scout got an 8. Oh, I know, those are bot. Uh, I need to... I... There needs to be a better way to... Uh, hang on, can I... Yeah, I'm gonna turn on a bright light radius around all of these tokens. Uh, All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and pause, and we're going to do that bathroom break. Yeah.